For decades, the world of personal computing has been dominated by one name, Windows. It's the operating system most of us grew up with. It came pre-installed on the family computer. We learned to type on its keyboard and navigate its menus. Microsoft Windows became the default choice, the standard by which all other desktop experiences were measured. It was, and in many ways still is, the undisputed king of the desktop. But you know, the digital kingdom is seeing a new contender rise through the ranks. This contender is Linux, an operating system built on a foundation of openness and community collaboration. You might think Linux is just for super technical people. Maybe you picture hackers in dark rooms typing complex commands into a black screen. That was true once but it's not the whole story anymore. Today, Linux has changed dramatically. It's become incredibly user-friendly with beautiful interfaces and intuitive controls that rival and sometimes even surpass what Windows offers. More people are discovering that Linux provides a powerful, secure and often free alternative. The old narrative of Windows being the only practical choice for everyday users is starting to crumble as Linux makes a serious play for the mainstream desktop. The desktop war is no longer a one-sided affair. To understand the present, we must look at the past. The story of Windows begins in the 1980s with Microsoft. Their goal was simple to put a computer on every desk and in every home running their software. They achieved this by creating a graphical user interface or GUI on top of their MS-DOS operating system. Windows 95 was a landmark release cementing Microsoft's dominance. It introduced the start menu and the taskbar features still part of Windows today. Microsoft's business model was to license Windows to computer manufacturers making it the default OS on most PCs. The story of Linux starts differently. It began in 1991 as a personal project by a Finnish student named Linus Torvalds. He wanted to create a free and open source version of the Unix operating system. He posted his work online and invited others to contribute. This collaborative spirit is the heart of Linux. It isn't owned by a single company, it's developed and maintained by a global community of volunteers and corporations. This open source philosophy means anyone can view, modify, and distribute the source code. When comparing Linux and Windows, four key areas stand out. Cost security software support and overall user experience. The most obvious difference is cost. Linux is almost always free. You can download and install hundreds of different Linux distributions without paying a single cent. Windows, however, comes with a price tag. A retail license for Windows 11 can cost over $100. While it often comes pre-installed on new PCs, that cost is baked into the price of the machine. Security is another area where Linux has a significant advantage. Its underlying architecture, based on Unix, is inherently more secure. The system requires administrator permission for almost any significant change, making it much harder for viruses and malware to gain control. Furthermore, because the source code is open, thousands of developers around the world are constantly reviewing it for vulnerabilities. Windows has improved its security over the years with features like Windows Defender, but it remains the primary target for malware attacks. Software support has long been the ace up Windows sleeve. For decades if you wanted to run specific applications, however, the gap is closing fast. For everyday tasks, Linux has excellent free alternatives like LibreOffice and GIMP. More importantly, a compatibility layer called Proton now allows thousands of Windows games to run on Linux. Finally, let's talk about the user experience. Windows offers a familiar and polished interface. Linux, on the other hand, is all about choice. You can make it look exactly like Windows or opt for something completely different, tailoring your computer to your exact workflow. So should you switch? The best operating system for you depends entirely on your needs. For many people, Windows is still the right choice. If you are a serious PC gamer who needs day one compatibility, Windows offers the most seamless experience. If your work depends on specific software like the full Adobe suite or certain engineering applications, then sticking with what works makes sense. However, there are many situations where Linux is the better option. If you are a developer, scientist, or student in a technical field, Linux is often the standard. Its powerful command line tools and native support for programming languages make it incredibly efficient. If you value your privacy and don't want your operating system collecting data about your usage, Linux is the clear winner. For users who want to revive an old computer that struggles to run modern Windows, a lightweight Linux distro can make it feel fast and new again. Consider the everyday home user who primarily browses the web, sends emails, watches videos, and does light document editing. For this person, 
Linux is more than capable. A distribution like Ubuntu or Linux Mint comes with all necessary software pre-installed. The experience is secure, stable, and completely free of charge. You won't be bothered by intrusive ads or forced updates that restart your computer at inconvenient times, leading to a simpler, more pleasant computing experience. The future of the desktop is likely one of coexistence, not conquest. Windows will continue to dominate corporate and high-end gaming markets for the foreseeable future. However, as more people become aware of Linux's benefits, its desktop market share will continue to grow. The best way to find out if Linux is for you is to try it. You can run it from a USB drive without installing anything, giving you a risk-free way to explore a new world of computing.